George Osborne has set out for the next three years even deeper cuts to our public services that we've seen in the last five years. Those plans are extreme, they're risky. In the end, they will mean, I think, cuts in the National Health Service or a rise in VAT. We will only get the deficit down in a sensible and balanced and fair way if we combine sensible spending cuts with action to make working people better off, to have more good jobs with good wages. That's why we say cut business rates for small firms, guarantee apprenticeships for young people, repeat the bank bonus tax to get young people back to work. A failing plan from George Osborne means even more extreme and risky cuts in the next parliament. I think that would be bad for Britain. It's the wrong way forward. George Osborne is promising tax cuts, but he can't say how, how he'll pay for them. He says he'll cut welfare, but he won't tell us how he's going to do it. All we know is the independent Office for Budget Responsibility say his plans mean more severe cuts in the next parliament than in the parliament we've just had. That would be extreme, it would be risky, it would put our policing and defence of our country at risk. I think it would mean cuts to our National Health Service and a Tory rise in VAT. That is the wrong plan. We need a better, fairer, more balanced plan and it will take a Labour government to deliver it. Look, there was one year when public spending fell in the early part of the Labour government to that level and it was too low and that is why we increased investment in our National Health Service. The OBR figures actually show by 2018 George Osborne will have spending back to the level of day-to-day -day spending as a percentage of GDP of 1938. But the important point is the OBR say more severe cuts in the next Parliament than in the one we've just had. Now, I don't think that's the right way forward. I think it's extreme, I think it's risky, I think it's dangerous. We'd put our NHS at risk. We need a better, fairer, more balanced plan from Labour.